pronounce yeah. it Care Bear 8? Yes, Care Bear 8. Care Bear 8. Okay, well, hi, everyone. Welcome to Live Snack Talk. I'm Max, and I'm here with Care Bear 8. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Max, right. for hosting today. <laughs> uh, and uh, so Kara is the queen of the flat lays. You are a Aww. fantastic Instagram photographer and content creator based in Sydney. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'd like to know, tell us a little bit about uh, your journey and how you got started with, with food photography and flat lays. Oh, well, it is a long story, but for the sake of this interview, I'll tell you the, the sweet short version. So I started out as a food lover and someone who enjoyed taking photos of their food. Then I became a, a so-and-so called food blogger. Oh, well, there's so many terms for us now. But yeah, one day someone just liked my work that much that they thought, oh, I would like to hire Kira for our cafe. And then that was like two years ago. <laughs> and since then the clientele has just kept building and building and now I'm here. Taking Fantastic. food photos. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, for those who are watching, what is a flat lay? Oh, I think it's defined as a photo that is styled and then taken from above, like aerial shot, top down. But I think I think the flat lay is kind of like a coined term for it. So, I like my flat lays to be very flat, like 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 zero degrees or whatever it is. I don't know what degrees it is, but yeah. flat. But some flat lays can be a little bit uh, on an angle as well. Uh, just depends yeah. on what style you want to go for. Flat lay, that's um, it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, so this I've put up on the screen. So this is a flat lay that you did. Um, yep. where, where did you do this flat lay? Oh, uh, this one is done at Salt and Light Cafe. It's a cafe at Chatswood in the Interchange. Uh, yeah, it's a little cafe with a good, um, delicious mushroom cheese toasties and coffee and juices. It's it's a nice place, guys. <laughs> um, and we'll we'll leave a link for that restaurant in in the, in the comments. Um, yes. But something so, um, in terms of like uh, doing uh, helping beginners with if they want to if you want to just start their own flat lay, there's a couple of things in this photo that make, that bump out bump out at me that make this flat lay particularly good, which is the way that you've done the sandwich and the hamburger. Can you talk a bit about that? Oh, yes. So when it comes to doing a flat lay photo and you want to showcase the food, uh, like with any angle that you capture a photo at, there are certain ways you can present the food to make it look good. So normally, say, for the sandwich or a hamburger, you would take it, like, straight on. So uh, say this is the hamburger, that's the cup, but you would take a photo, like, you know, and right in front but when it's going from up top it just looks like a bun so you have to open it up and you just spread yeah. it out on the plate same goes with the sandwich i took the top part of the bread off and i just slid it across and then now you can actually see the sandwich and the burger it looks so much more appealing um and yeah. if you're watching if you have any questions about i uh, thank you so much um speaking of something that would be good for a flat lay Look, look what just arrived for me. I've got some bow. Oh, Perfect oh. for a flat lay. Because you've got you can see all of that, all of the yummy yeah. ingredients. Um yes, that'd be good for a flat so lay. So <laughs> they presented this really well. So if you guys are watching, if you have any questions for Kira about flat lays or about food photography, like let us know in the comments. Um I, I, and we'll answer all of your questions. Um I'm gonna bring up another flat lay. This is a really interesting one that you've done. Where is this and what's the story behind this flat lay? Okay, so this was done at Cafe Creation. It's a very small Japanese matcha uh, cafe in Surrey Hills. It's like on the cusp of like Surrey Hills and like CBD Woolloomooloo. Um, mm -hmm. They're known for their matcha log, which you can see at the top, at the top there. You see yeah. the kind of like a brownie green with a green, like creamy sponge. That's the log. It's cut into a little slice. There's matcha mm -hmm. latte, uh, macaroons, cookies. Um, yeah, and this was taken on a very rainy day. I don't know if you can see how the ground is quite shiny. That's literally because it was raining that day. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, but there was 
really beautiful light that day too, like the diffused from the light from all the um from the rain, the clouds. So which gave this perfect picture here. It's great. I particularly love the way the macaroons are arranged in a honeycomb arrangement. That that's really <laughs> it's just so nice with the different colours. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And you do put it, I noticed at the top right, you've got a watermark on your on your photo. Uh, well, I used to do this, but then I got a bit lazy. Um, <laughs> it was mostly just <laughs> to uh, try to stop people from, I guess, uh, I guess posting without credit. Um, but I guess I've gotten a little bit uh, lax about that. I figured Instagram is basically a place where everyone's going to take stuff anyway. So... But I'm very, I'm very uh, honoured and flattered that people would do that. So I've kind of relaxed on that. <laughs> yeah. But I did see on your website, you've got like, if you want to use my photography, please tag yeah. me or like credit me. Because like yeah. that's, you know, it's a, that's your livelihood. So I totally, it's it's a very smart decision to, to put that that that, that uh, watermark up there. Um, yeah. This is not yeah. a front lane, but it feels super <laughs> delicious. Mm. Um, how do you get those dripping shots? Uh, how do you get the, the dripping and the tipping? How do you manage them? Uh, well, a high shutter speed is really good for getting the the drips. Um, the, the thing is that most most people, when they use a smartphone to capture dripping shots, right, they use the portrait yeah. mode or whatever it's called, and they get that um, well, that blurriness that comes the with buzz. the drips. Uh, but with yeah. a camera, you get to capture so much more detail. Um, but how you get that nice detailed drip is a high shutter speed because it captures the moment very, very quickly. Um, and also having a light helps. I think this one was captured with a light flash as well, which actually helps capture that detail too. It's very nice. It's got it's got and it's got micro herbs on top, which is uh, which is good. It reminds me. Yeah. Of I want. You know, I, I once went to a restaurant and I ordered fondue and they put alfalfa on the fondue and it was oh. so weird. It was like, Ooh, I don't know if this works. So um, it, work? it didn't work. It was terrible. And I was like, oh. but I had to like picking all the alfalfa off it. Um, and the menu picture didn't show alfalfa. So clearly somebody was trying something new and it didn't work. And that's just how it is sometimes. Um, we've, We've got a question from uh, from Lynn. I'm a producer, Lynn. Which is, what is your favourite restaurant in Sydney? Oh, you know what? I get this so many times. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't call it a restaurant. Actually, it is a restaurant. Um, have if you've heard of Bar Ume in Surrey Hills? I have not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, look, there are lots and lots of restaurants that I could name as some of my favourites. But to be honest, the, the, that Ume was the very first restaurant that popped into my head. And they're actually a burger restaurant. Uh, and they do Japanese Ooh. burger. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's my favourite restaurant. Um, <laughs> Japanese burgers are amazing. I love, I, love, I love burgers are such an easy format and great for me. I love burgers. So, and like mi mixing it up with different cuisines is always great. Um, I, what is this photo? You've got to tell me about this photo. This is amazing. It, it's what is this? What am I what, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> um, I believe this was the Din Tai Fung campaign where they were doing um the Pride noodles with the rainbow noodles for like the <sighs> yes um yeah so all the noodles were like yeah different colors of the rainbow and i believe i was the very first vlogger to to try it like and and, and so i thought oh what do i do to really showcase the 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 rainbowness of this and then i thought oh i'll just eat it and then my <laughs> partner who was having the camera he was like oh yeah that's great here just 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 slurp it just slurp it i was like okay i'll just slurp it and then yeah that was the best photo i was like oh i'm actually very happy with that <laughs> it's, so mm, good. It's, it's fantastic and <laughs> Dinta Kong is on live and they have a fantastic raw bite so um and they're, they're really tra struggling them. so you know we have live and care packages but you can we can purchase to buy to support local restaurants. So check out Din Tai Fung's page in the live and app. Um, it's, it's really awesome. Um, is, now yeah. this, yeah, they are awesome. Uh, um, this one is a, this one I can tell, this is a, is this a post COVID shot? 
Oh, yeah. So this is, well, I wouldn't say post-COVID because we're not out of COVID yet, but it was when the lockdowns happened uh, and some of the venues uh, wanted photography uh, for their new food items and takeaway boxes. And this was one of, I think this was the very first, no, the second one I ever did, uh, Speedos yeah. Cafe. Yes. They just wanted all their food in takeaway boxes, and I thought this was this was the best way we could do it. A flat lay, why yeah. not? <laughs> takeaway is a big thing during COVID. It makes sense, and it's it's good for you to pivot, you know. Um, and yeah, you know, how how would you how, how else is your business coping, and how a restaurant, how else is the industry coping during this tough time? Well, everyone I've spoken to is not reporting good things. Actually, that's not true. Um, since the, the lockdown restrictions have relaxed, I've had just a couple exceptions where they've said that they've actually improved their business. But generally, it's been tough for everyone. Yeah. And my own business has uh, suffered some loss as well. Um, mm. But I, I, found, I just found ways to keep busy and uh, keep creating and keep trying to find new ways to create content so even though I was making losses and I was feeling sorry for myself I was so busy doing that that I didn't think about it much which is good <laughs> yeah I yeah. mean the job job keep has been such a great thing for the restaurants and for you know sole businesses um Has. so I mean it's it's so yay job keeper please keep it up government <laughs> yes um, thank you yeah it's definitely helped uh, my household for sure so yeah yeah <laughs> um so tell us a bit about this shot what's this shot you, you so we're now what we're talking about what are we snacking on at the moment what are, what are we snacking on so oh we'll, yeah uh, we can we can put if we'll put what are we snacking on down the bottom um uh, yes. tell us about what you're what is this that we're snacking on all right, so these cookies were uh, a gift, actually, from my friends at Benson Cafe. They're located in the hills. Uh, they were a gift because I did a little live show myself at the start of COVID called Takeaway Times, and they were like, right, so oh, and, and, if people, and if people want to watch Takeaway Times, we'll put a link to Takeaway Times in the chat. So if anyone wants to check it out afterwards, it's a great show. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, they thought they, they said in the in the interview uh, something about their cookies, and I was like, oh, I want some. And then I, and then they followed up and said, oh, actually, you can have some. I was like, oh, are you serious? So we went out there for lunch. You know, we we, we paid for lunch, we paid for coffee, and then they're like, oh, and had these cookies. I was like, oh, that's so nice. And so they're like so good, Max. I can't even tell you how delicious they are. Like. <laughs> better than like a freshly baked batch of cookies that were homemade you know uh, so. lick the screen lick your, your lick your phone screen to taste the flavors coming through <laughs> right now you you know we're using new tech i hope <laughs> um, yeah uh, i want some if only i was in sydney um speaking oh. of sydney we've got a question from a sydney um a sydney uh, somebody in sydney kira writes Hey Kira, love your pretty pics. I'm I'm curious to know what inspired you to get into food photography, and mm -hmm. is there any go-to apps you'd recommend? Oh, any go-to right. apps you'd recommend? Well, as I said before, um, I got into food photography. Uh, well, I didn't mention this earlier, but I was in some rehabilitation uh, for some food uh, issues. But I started to use Instagram as my way of rehabilitation. So I do, I take photos of my eggs benedict or my donut or something, post on Instagram. People loved it. And the community was so supportive that I just couldn't help but just to keep going, keep going. And then, um, yeah, so that's community support that really fostered that love of food photography. And I just kept going and it became a profitable business. So that's always good. <laughs> community always rules. <laughs> Um, and go to apps, as in yeah, like, go, go to apps on your phone or on your computer. Oh, I'm for, guessing for editing. Photo editing. Oh, okay. Well, I have a subscription from Adobe, so I use Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, occasionally Premiere for some small short videos, but I also use the same apps as well. Um, so I use Lightroom as well on my phone. I also use an app called Mojo, which does a lot of the story videos. Oh, I, I love I'm Mojo. Yeah, I've also, 
I've also used um, uh, Unfold or Untold. I can't remember that name of it. Um, it's Unfold, yeah, Unfold. Yeah, I use Grid Post for those, like, uh, if I wanted to split photos in two. And I also use InShot for my, like, longer videos or stop motion. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the ones I use. <laughs> you can use those too. I, Hopefully that works. <laughs> well, um, uh, Kira, what, can you, um, after the chat, why not, can you post links to those names of those apps and link to those apps in the chat? So if people want to check out yeah. your recommended app, they can check them out? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Well, there's one thing I wanted, what I've been snacking on, I, I saw this at Big W and I couldn't help myself. Like, look, uh, look at this. Wouldn't this be great in a flat lay? Oh my god! Yes, actually, that would because that would like <laughs> fall exactly flat on the table. How big is that? That's uh, it's it's gluten free. I think it's forty seven grams. It's it's huge. Forty seven grams. That's that's quite a big lollipop there, Max. Can you fit yeah. it all in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's it's not a it's not a lollipop. It's a gummy bear. So I think it you can chew oh. it. You can. Oh, but it's okay. on a stick, so it looks like a lollipop. <laughs> hey, is that, oh, it's a bear. Oh no, Max, don't eat the bears. That's, that's <laughs> like my cousin. <laughs> okay, let me know in the comments if I should eat this gummy bear in the next video. Let me know if you want me to. Like, it's just going to be me eating a giant gummy bear. Over, it's going to take I'll me a while. Don't worry, Max. I'll support you. I'll just like cry a little bit. Like no. <laughs> the <poor> bear. <laughs> Um, um, oh, the other thing that I've been snacking on um, in ooh. Melbourne, there's this amazing restaurant called Bay City Burrito, and they have this delicious quesadilla. Um, <gasps> guacamole. With, uh, guacamole. Yeah. Um, that's really yummy. And this is their like steak bowl, carne asada, um, steak plate, and it's just got everything you need for a nice big meal. What's um, on the What's the brown stuff on the left, above the on right? On the left. On the left of the right, this is a refried bean. Oh, that no, the um, that one on oh, the top, top, top left. This is that steak with a nice spice rub on it. Oh, I see. That's that that sounds and delicious. It's a good, it's a nice steak, and it's got a, a, a jalapeno on top. Ah, oh, that sounds delicious, Max. I want some now. I miss <laughs> Melbourne. I want to go it's back. This is a flat light. I mean, yeah. I'm just inspired by you. What can I say? Oh, <laughs> thank you. You did a good job <laughs> too. I like how like the glass, the light yeah. of the glass yeah. is shining through. Oh, Does anyone oh, see that? Yeah, that's, that's true. Actually, that's give it a bit of it's intuition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, and then I went to. So this is one of the, my favorite lighter merchants. It's Yochi, and they have Froyo. <gasps> I do love frozen yogurt. What is that in the? Yeah. yeah. So the one at the moment, my one is dairy free, and it's got raspberry and then berry, uh, strawberries and raspberry coolie and boba, yeah. popping boba. Oh, and I then, love those. Yeah. They're so addictive. They're so like nice to bite. Yes. <laughs> not boba. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they, they had this beautiful blue seat outside, which just gave it this really cool contrast. I just really like the the contrast. The, you know um, what it reminds me of the 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 circles in the on the table also yeah. reminds me of the little popping pearls in the yogurt. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Good job there, Max. See, <laughs> into <you>. <laughs> Um, and then this is just a nice little family selfie. I was like, oh, I've got to get a family selfie in there. <laughs> oh, your family's adorable. <laughs> um, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. We've got another question from the audience. Um, let me let me um let me turn, uh, can we turn off the what are you snacking on? And we're gonna say Dixon asks, Hi Kara, what is the most interesting meal that you've had? Anything weird? Mm. Actually, yes. I was just talking to my friend about this the other day. Um last year's Vivid Festival, there were some restaurants that were participating in the in the dining with Vivid uh thing and 
um, I don't know if anyone knows the Four Seasons in Sydney, but it's by Circular Key. And they've got a restaurant there with Mode. Now they were doing yes. an experience, not just for bloggers too, but also for the, for regular customers who just wanted to enjoy as well. Um, you know, we had like a, I believe it was a three or four course meal that we had, and it was based yeah. on colors. So we had like a red meal, a green meal, and a blue meal, and a rainbow meal. Oh, and yum! Yes, and now I can't remember exactly what it was, but the most interesting one was the green meal, and that was based around rainforest. And the ingredient that that he wrote in that was ants, like ants. ants. Yeah, that scurried across Ooh. your table, grabbing your stuff. So, so because those ants have a quite a tart flavour. Those, those, so these are these the honey ants that have the the green the green backsides. Mm, these different. Yeah. It could be the honey ants because there was a green meal, uh, but I can't remember what was the type of ants. All I know is that it gave it a very funny, like, uh, it gave it a funny texture for one. I couldn't really taste them, but knowing that I was eating, like, a whole plate of ants on this meal, on this meal, <laughs> I was just like, ooh, okay. I liked it, though. It was my second favourite meal on that course. So. Must love Unique and special, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, when I was in Mexico, I tried uh, crickets. I tried deep fried crickets, and that Ooh. also had a really crunchy, mm. crunchy nutty flavour that I really like. That was probably I love, and now I love crickets. I love, and then I'm like, I want to try it. You know, you can't get them in Australia; it's hard to. But yeah, I, I did get a, I did get a. Um, Woolworths now sell cricket meal that you can put into your yeah. bake, cakes and cakes and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, we've got another question from Miran who asks, have you guys been baking or making your own desserts in quarantine? If so, where do you get your recipes? Uh, actually, Max, I sent you a picture of a cake that I baked, uh, which will show bring you. It up now. Yeah, this is probably best for them to see. Yeah. So this cake here, Miran, this is actually from the Coles Mag. Yeah. So... I always take the Coles magazines every time they release a new one every single month. I usually get my baking inspo from Coles because they're such good recipes. They're so in depth, and there's always a lovely picture to accommodate the recipe. So you kind <laughs> of know usually what to expect. Um, this one is the sticky pear chocolate mud cake. It took me 36 hours from start to finish to get it right. Oh, delicious. Yeah. But so, so worth it. And it, this looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, other than that, I usually go to Pinterest for recipes. Yes. Um, yeah. I'm the same. I, I love Woolworths and Coles both release free magazines. And all, they're also downloadable as an app. So if you're looking yeah. for good recipes, and they're often, because, you know, they're affordable supermarkets, they are often with affordable ingredients. So that's a great budget uh, or you know, affordable um, recipe, recipe source. Um, I love them. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to hide that. Um, but um, I'm going to so re remove that. Um, but um, thank you so much for being on the, the show, Kira. If people want to learn more about or follow you, um, where can they find you? Okay, so uh, I'm on Instagram under Kira Bear Eats. I think my name shows up on the screen, I think. Does it, Max? I've just put it It does there. show up, but... Um, yeah. And then on Facebook, you've got a different handle. Your careabeteats.com, uh, is that right? Yeah, I share every, every one of my photos to my Facebook page, which is careabeteats.com. I also have another page I share a little bit of a different style called Carewong yeah. Photography. So I'll put that at the end of this show for everyone. Um, yeah. And if you go there, you can also go to our website, um, www.careabeteats.com. There you got a lot of things to explore. So, yeah, go go, awesome. go, <laughs> go, go check out Kara. Um, and um, you know, restaurants are really struggling right now. And I, I just want to mention that you know, Live and have a bunch of awesome care packages uh, out there. Um, and and so you, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a voucher or a voucher that you use to support the restaurants. And um, for everyone who's watching this video, we're going to put a link in the in the in the video. Um, so if you are for a special voucher, if you want to support your local restaurant, uh, support your or a, a restaurant in your city, uh, click the link to check it out. 
because it, it's, um, it's, and you can get some great rewards. Um, and thanks everyone for watching. Let us know what you think and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye everyone. Thanks, Emacs. Bye everyone. Thank you.